We're about to enter a world normally hidden from the naked eye, a true subculture of people living almost entirely underground, sometimes for generations. Down here, the comforts are few and far between, but tonight we're meeting their leader, who dreams of a better way. Here's ABC's Bob Woodruff. This is downtown Bucharest, the capital of Romania. Take a look at this busy traffic circle. Look closely, right there at the bottom of your screen, an entrance to something outsiders never see. Hundreds of people in this city live in the sewers. Do you speak English? Yeah. Do you live underneath the street? Yeah. In the tunnel? How long have you lived there for? Many years. Many years? Why is I that? Architect. Because I don't have a house. You don't have anywhere to live? It's a hard life. Oh, it's a hard life. Hey, how are you? But the most startling sewer dwellers, the kids. Hey, do you speak English? An estimated 1,100 of them homeless. Do you live down in the tunnel? Yeah. His name is, is Robert, living underground since he was nine. He tells us he doesn't know his parents. The people in the tunnels are his family. Generations of children like Robert have grown up in these sewers. They fled underground in 1989 when the communist regime was overthrown and Romanian orphanages were closed releasing thousands of kids onto the streets. They took refuge in these tunnels, heated by steam pipes. Lost boys and girls now grown up and now joined by a new generation of kids like Robert. Is there no way we can go back in the tunnel with you? Robert tells us it is too dangerous for us to go down. Too many junkies, addicts like that one 10 feet below, injecting heroin. If there's so many junkies down there, aren't you afraid? No, they know each other, so they know very long time ago, so there is no problem. But that was just a glimpse of this subculture. To see more and do it safely, Robert told us we'd have to find and get permission from their leader, an elusive and mysterious man known as Bruce Lee. He's lived in the sewers for the past 24 years. Those on the streets treat him like a king. Yes, yeah, he's the leader, but Bruce is like the father for our people. To report this story, we hit the streets with a charity group called Samu Social, the only organization in Romania working with the sewer people. Why is it the people live in the tunnels? Because they have no other choices. That they could live in some kind of shelter? No, in this time in Bucharest, mainly the drug users live in the tunnels. They're like a family over there. They feel it, like they are in the family. Costa Militaro is a doctor. Olivia Janos is a social worker. Feels like it's about 75 degrees down here. And it's wet. We're on the lookout for Bruce Lee. With silver hair, jingling medals, and large pack of dogs, we'll know it's him. He might be in this tunnel. So my producer, Christine Romo, and I go deep into the steamy darkness. Only one guy down here in bad shape strung out on drugs. So this is where you actually live down here? This is just unbearable. I would say this is probably about 95 degrees. And with this humidity, it's, it's about the worst. This is about the hottest, most uncomfortable place. I'm shooting up. There you go. How was that? Samu Social provides some medical assistance. Yeah, he shot drugs and the, the vein was broken and is has an infection. And what kind of uh, drug? Uh, his stimulants, uh, we call it legal heights in, uh, in Romania. It's like a methamphetamine. The group receives very little support from the government. They need real help, like clothes and food and uh, medication. Have you witnessed many people dying? Once yeah, 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 yeah. During the winter, a lot of people died. All taking place just steps from the avenues of power. When the prime minister goes to work here, this is not yeah, far they, away. They don't do nothing. So here's where I went in. This, uh, this tunnel goes along to this other spot where the steam's coming out. And there's McDonald's. Pretty much tells the story. You've got this kind of poverty, people living underground. It's pretty stunning, I have to say. We visited several tunnels looking for Bruce Lee. Everyone stacked with garbage and rotting clothes. 
serving as beds. They have nothing else. So this is your home. How long have you been living here? One year, two years. Ew. Yeah. Ew. One year. You've lived here for one year? Yes, yes. The police have tried sealing the sewer entrances, but they just find another way in. Some of them, they'll live forever on the tunnels. Yeah. They'll never go away. No. Finally at dusk, back at that traffic circle, there he was, the man we were looking for, Bruce Lee, his large pack of dogs and his jingling medals giving him away. Why do children live down here? No, Being here is their only hope. They have nowhere to go. Here they have food and water and heat. You know all the people who are living in here, right? You know everybody? I know them all. I control everything down here. They used to do a lot of bad things. They didn't have anyone to guide them to do good before me. He paints his hair with Arlok, a metallic paint popular on the streets as a cheap way to get high. So you're, you're trying to dress up like you're crazy and you're putting something on your on your hair to make you crazy it gives you more credibility? No, I like people to think that I'm crazy, so this way they'll leave me alone. You know, it's, it's below freezing right now. You don't have shoes on. How can you deal with this cold? That's the way I walk around out here. I feel better this way. What's in that bag right there? Autolac. They tell us drugs are a comfort to them, an escape from their harsh reality. Were you sniffing it yourself just now? What, is it, what does it feel like for you? You're not hungry, you're not thirsty. If you didn't have that bag, do you think you'd be able to survive out here? Yes, no problem. I sell more than I use. But how much would it cost me to buy that, that bag of drugs? $1 or $2? Just $2 for that? And you just get... Really? Do you like it? <laughs> this guy shows us how it's done. With that, he told us we could go underground to see his king. This time is very different. You had to go all the way to the bottom. Oh, my God. Lined with people, sitting on the hot pipes. Robert is our guide. This, this is your home where you live down here? Yeah, you know, the subway. It's crazy. Watch out for syringes. Yeah. <laughs> he leads us to the back where Bruce Lee is holding court. This tunnel has electricity, a microwave, a fan, even a Christmas tree. We steal it from the city. This is how we can live. Otherwise, we would die out on the street. Everything we have, we have collected from the garbage. Are there many children living down here? Yes, down there. The tunnel runs are about two kilometers. There are a lot of kids down there at night. That's when they gather. During the day, they go and search in the trash for food and whatever they need. Bruce Lee told us he is raising money to build a new community outside of Bucharest a home for all of his people. A place for all my people where they will be treated well. Here we are treated like animals. I promised myself that if I ever leave the sewers, I will bring everyone with me. We're told he's been saying that for years. No home yet, at least not above ground. But for those young kids with no prospects and no home, even a dream can be something to cherish. From the sewers of Bucharest, for Nightline, I'm Bob Woodruff. Samu Social says the Romanian government is doing everything it can to get people out of the sewers. But many who live in the tunnels with Bruce Lee don't want to leave.